Today's video is going to be how to progress as free to play. When you are failing, what do you do next? We're going to talk about the hard stops, water shrekly, the end of Kerchul, and Borbos. But mainly what to do when you are hard stuck. If you like my videos and like my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. All right, I'm going to tell you all the hard stops for free to play. This might pertain to you. It might not. Act 4, Chapter 48, Laboratory of Madness. This is by far the first hard stop for a ton of free to play players. And it's not just free to play. A lot of people just speed through the game and don't look at mechanics. So Laboratory of Madness, you have Water Shrekly. The main thing about Water Shrekly is that he heals himself. And he has Endure, which he can't be killed for like 20-30 seconds. His basic attack hits like a wet noodle. So you don't have to worry about that. This team right here. Konamiya, Shannon, and Wind Mystic Witch, Cilia. This is all you need. Cilia's second skill does Unrecoverable, which is the heal block, and does damage taken up. You put her as a soul link and you just spam the second skill. The only other thing you have to do is dodge red stuff on the ground. If you dodge red stuff on the ground and you apply heal block on recoverable, you will beat it no problem. This is the super free to play team. If you want to see a super duper duper free to play team, you bring Win Yeti. Win Yeti and Shannon, and then you bring Konamiya and it's just a super sustained team. Just dodge the red stuff and apply heal block, you'll be fine. This goes for 99.99% of all the hard stuck stuff that you're going to come across in. The reason free to play get hard stuck is either A, power level, B, the mechanics of the fight, or C, just laziness. I'm sorry, it's just the honest truth. You're going into a dungeon with a penalty, that is why you are failing. At least get to slightly hard. Giggity. You do not want the penalty. If you have the penalty, damage taken is increased by 25%, and the damage you do is minus 25%. You can beat everything in the game just on slightly hard giggity. If you have a bonus giggity, that's even better, but you do not need it. Now we talked about mechanics. Go to the strategy info button and go to strategy tips. You can even do this on the main story stuff. The major stuff is highlighted in red. But sometimes it's not. As you can see, continuously recovers its HP. Also, Gigantify is removed when it receives Unrecoverable. Two problems, one solution, heal block. It even tells you recommended skills that you need. Make sure to know the mechanics of the fight. And the last one's laziness, like I said. You want to run it on auto. I get it. But to progress early game, if you're dying, try to manual it. See what happens. Dodge out of the attacks. Switch Soul Link monsters when it's applicable. Don't be lazy. Act 5, Chapter 38, The End of Kachul is another hard stuck place. When I beat it the first time around, I was Orbia and all I used was Konamiya, Shannon, and Win Yeti. And that's a lot of the solution for a lot of hard stuck places too, is team composition. There's three different team compositions you can do to pretty much beat majority of the stuff in this game. One, you have your full nuke team. Summoner, damage dealer, damage dealer, and either third damage dealer or some kind of support. Second is a full sustain team. A summoner and either A, a knight and two supports or three supports. And the third team comp is literally mechanics, bringing the right monsters, having an actual well-balanced team with a tank, a damage dealer, a healer, and a support. Having all the debuffs that are needed, the cleanses, the damage, the defense, break, attack buff, etc, etc, etc. If your team is not working, try one of these three different team comps in order to progress. Not only team comp, but just dodge stuff on the ground non-stop. Poke the boss, run away when there's red on the ground. You will do just fine. The other hard stuck area is Act 5, Chapter 41, Borbo. Same deal, team composition, mechanics of the fight. He takes like 1% damage from skills and it's all about basic attacks. 
but just poke the boss. Make sure you have some kind of buff on your monsters. Attack the boss, run out of red stuff, rinse and repeat. Don't have a penalty. The penalty is what kills people the most. So now the main question is, how do I raise my power level? How do I not have a penalty? What can I do to make my team summoner monsters stronger? Here is a list, as fast as I can. Early game summon everything. We have three banners. Pick one for what you want and what you are going to need. Plus, while you're summoning, you get dupes, right? Even summon your unknown scrolls, you're going to get dupes of three-star monsters, and you're going to get skill-ups for Water, Kona, Mia, Fire Fairy, Shannon, etc., Bulldozer, whoever you're using, Hellia, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Skill-ups are the most important thing, even over Awakening. Awakening 5 is probably the most important, and then you skill up to max, and then you max Awaken. That is the order of priority. As you see, the majority of power level comes from your monster being level 70, the runes on how good quality they are, and your skills. Those will always be your highest percentages. So adding on to that, max evolving and leveling up to max is very, very important to raise that power level so you get rid of the penalty. This also increases the monster's stats, etc., etc. Right now it's free to play. I would suggest only doing path of training on your six entries a day, trying to get to the highest level possible. These tickets right here save for when the Water Desert Queen event comes in the next week or two. Trust me. Like I said, Awakenings, make sure they are at level five at least. Level five Awakening actually either adds a skill or modifies a skill of a monster. I recommend for the Karos entries, just run Hall of Magic unless you're trying to do like an achievement or get something specific, you're close enough, whatever. But over time, you're just going to farm Hall of Magic. That's because Awakening requires more magic essence than anything. Also, what you can do is go to the shop and go all the way down to consumables and there is a Chaos Essence chest. You can buy it once per week for like 200 crystals. It's worth it. Next, Summoner's Gear. Level 4 star and higher gear at least plus 9. You can go to plus 12 if you're trying to get that little boost in power level. Every little bit counts to get out of that penalty. Also, are you building your summoner right? For skill points, you want to go for the right skills first. Same with utility. Then go into active skills and then attribute research last. Are you pushing TOA? Push TOA so you can do the power of ascensions and get more power level and base stats. Do celestial as far as you can. Do all three challenges if you can. Your account points matter too. I'm going to do a whole different video on this as well. But there is a strategy to this. There's not really one build for all. Early game anyway. And that's it for today's video. I've been getting a lot of comments on the videos talking about where they're hard stuck and everything. So I wanted to get this video out there for you. As always, comment anytime on any of my videos. I read every single comment. If you have a question, you can do it there or you can go to my Discord in the description below. And there are a ton of people, including myself, that will help when we are available. And as always, if you like this video, sub, like, ding-a-ding-a-bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!